This simple but yet insanely useful tool is always present in your back pocket. I'm talking of course about the iPhone calculator app. We need a calculation, we use this app. So this happens to me and my friends every time. As we hit the wrong digit, we hit this C and have to start all over again. Now I have a more efficient way to fix this. When you hit the wrong digit, just swipe from left to right or from right to left and it will delete the last number. Easy. Talking about the C and the AC symbol over here. We press it all the time, but what does it actually do? Well, AC means all clear and C means clear. We can change or clear our last input. Let's for example take 100 times 100, but we wanted to dial in 200. With the C button, we go back and change our last input. So with the C, we've gone back to the equation. A C, however, will wipe any previous equations on the calculator and take you back to zero. And did you know there's an easy method to get an advanced calculator setup, or also called the iPhone scientific calculator. Just rotate your iPhone in landscape mode and it turns into this completely different application. You can now use this scientific calculator to solve more in-depth mathematical questions and equations. For example, by using the sine, cosine, or the tangent. Or if you'd like, you can calculate with exponents with these buttons right here. Of course, there are many other mathematical capabilities, so make sure to test them all out for yourself. Not everyone knows how to calculate a percentage. You could use the standard method. For example, if you want 15% of 100 it's 15 or 15% 15 of 200 it's 30. This method is fine, especially for simple percentage calculations. But imagine it's getting a little bit more complex. Like for example, if we want to calculate 7,75% of 99, and what about the plus slash minus button? This is used to calculate with negative numbers. For instance, if we have minus 25 and we do minus 25, we get minus 50. Or if you have minus 8 plus 16, we have 8. There is one problem with the iPhone calculator app. Unfortunately, it does not store your previous calculations. But you can, however, check your last results by just long pressing the iPhone calculator app and copy your last result. Now, for example, you can use this result in the notes app or to send it to somebody else. If you have any video suggestions, feel free to comment. Consider subscribing to stay up to date with the latest Apple and iPhone news and tips.